So I'm controlling here. That knee prevents him from attacking my neck. My head is up. Again, I don't want to be bent over here. Right? Even if I have both controlled here, he can start trying to fight those arms, get me separated, and now I'm in trouble. Make sense? So I want to get that knee up as soon as I can. Because now I control where I go. Whether I pass, whether I stand up, whether I want to attack from here. Okay? So I'm going to take both hands. Drive the elbows down and swim underneath. All right, and I drive my arms forward. Wrap the hips. All right, cable grip the hips. And you got two options from here. Either I drive into him or I pull him up in my lap. But either way, I want him sitting on my knee. Okay, my elbows are down and I'm controlling his hips, not his legs, his hips. And he can freak out all he wants from here. Okay, cool. We're just gonna get to this point. If you know this pass, that's fine, go for it, finish it. But if you don't, just get to here. I know, it's an awkward position. That's fine. All right, kind of smell here. What are you going to do? What's your going back right now? What's that? And you, you need to drive forward instead? Yep. We're all, same thing. I dive underneath, and when I wrap, I pull them up on top of me. Okay? So I'm probably not going to pull, go up into my lap. All right? Probably not going to pull you up in my lap. You're real tall. Right? So I'm going to climb forward. And the more he starts to raise his hips, the easier it makes his pass for him. Okay? He wants to walk back on his shoulders. And that's why I might have to chase him a little bit. That's why I like to pull. Okay? So he's got to try to fight that. Because I can stay low. When I start raising up, it makes it easier for him to slide out. Now I'm in trouble. Oh, my head over my head. Cool? Questions? Get to this position again. If you know the pass from here, that's fine. Go ahead and finish it. But if not, stop here and restart. One, two, three. 